Tune in to Overcomers TV on your favorite app or streaming platform. It's time to overcome. All right, Atencia, so tell us, how did you first learn about Freedom House and Adult and Teen Challenge? Well, July 22nd, 2018, I had, was drunk and high, and I remember vaguely God telling me I needed to get to church that morning and to find some help or I was going to die in my addiction. I got up and went to a church that I had been attending in Lawton, Oklahoma, and I went and talked to the pastor, and I told him everything that I had been doing and what was going on in my life. I was homeless for six years at that time, and I just got tired of living the life that I was living, drinking, crack cocaine, just different stuff that was going on in my life that was causing more problems than I cared to count or remember. And, I just told them I needed to be somewhere where I could get the help that I needed. And they gave me the number to Freedom House. And I called that Monday and they did my phone screen. And she told me to be here July 26th, that three days later. And I was here and been here since. Praise the Lord. That is good. Awesome. So talk about your role, your involvement with the ministry. My role involved here is direct care, where I help ladies with their spiritual needs. Um, we do phone calls, phone screens, stuff like that. Um, just being there, teaching them life skills, how to clean, how to do things that they normally wouldn't have known how to do. Um, being there to help moms with babies that are here. Just being a, a help and an aid where ladies need to know what they didn't know, pretty much. Praise the Lord, that's good. So talk about uh, the vision, the mission, the heartbeat, how do you describe it? Compassion and passionate for women that are lost out there. Knowing someone to help them find their identity and their worth in Jesus and just being there to guide them through the hard times and showing them that there is hope for their future in spite of how their past may have looked. It's just helping to guide them in a way that only God knows how through us. Amen. That's good. So talk about how the Lord is using this ministry to introduce them to Jesus, you know, evangelism. When they come in, it's helping us through our schoolwork to deal with underlying issues, not just the surface problem that we thought were our issues, but dealing with our past, the lies that we believed about ourselves, uh, things that may have happened to us that we don't have to stay stuck in that lifestyle anymore, that we can find freedom in God through getting things out of us that we may have been sh ashamed of or guilt-ridden, just being honest about how we really felt or what we were going through at those times. Yeah, amen. That's good. So um, talk about life skills, how, you know, uh, it's more than just the Bible. It's, it's GED, it's college, you know, uh, vocation training. But for one, me, like me, I'm going, to, going back to school for my GED, and that has been a big one for me that I really wanted to go back and finish my education. And I get the opportunity to help other women and encourage them that you can do it no matter how long you've been out. And it may seem hard at first, but if you just stay consistent and keep going, you will succeed and that all things are possible. Talk about ways people can get involved and support Freedom House. Financial, well, new um, financial support, um, maybe coming doing tours here, seeing how the place is ran and how what we do and what we may have need of here is just offering them a solution to get involved with Freedom House by not just donation, whether it be clothes or something for children, it's just being there in the community to help 
others that are really needing it. Yeah, good. That's good. Um, why do you do what you do? Because I have a passion for women with children. I know what it was like for me being out there isolated and feeling lonely that I would never be anything more than what I was. I want women to know that there is hope, that they can be more than what they ever thought they could be. I know for me, I had to get to a place where I had to allow God to, I had to lay down a lot to allow God to come in and remove those things that I had stood on for so long and allowed him to, through these women, to help me clean out that junk and to begin to say and speak what God said about me and truly know and believe what he said is over anything. So uh, is there anything else the Lord put on your heart to share with us today? Last question. I just want the community to know that just because we may have been in an addiction, we are still human and there's a lot of good in us. You know, people tend to not believe that we could do anything better. And all I can say is just watch what Jesus can do when we surrender our lives to him. And those that don't believe coming along beside us and seeing the difference that God can make, make the biggest difference in the world.